the most important theorem of pair of straight lines. If the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 represents a pair of intersecting lines, then the combined equation of pair of bisectors of angle between the lines is given by h into x square minus y square is equal to xy into a minus b. Now, we know that this equation represents a pair of straight lines passing through the origin. That means both the lines are intersecting at 0, 0. Let us draw the diagram. Here, you can see that this is going to be x axis, this is y axis origin. Now, straight line number 1 will be like this, straight line number 2 will be like this. If you want, we can extend like this also. Now, angular bisectors are given by like this. The dotted lines indicates angular bisectors and second one is like this only. Now this is L1, this is L2, this is B1, this is B2. L indicates the straight line, B indicates the bisector. Now given lines are AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square equal to 0. This is equation 1. Now, 1 represents a pair of intersecting lines, a pair of intersecting lines through origin. Now, let us consider this is angle theta and this is angle phi. Now, when theta and phi are the inclinations, the slope is given by m is equal to tan theta here and m is equal to tan phi here. So, you can write, you know the point is 0, 0 and you know the line, I mean you know this point 0, 0 and the slope tan theta. So, equation of line making theta with x axis and passing through origin passing through origin is y minus 0 equal to tan theta into x minus 0. So, y is equal to sin theta by cos theta into x. So, x sin theta minus y cos theta is equal to 0. Call it equation 1. Now, in the same fashion, the other line is given by similarly the other line is, is given by x sin phi minus y cos phi is equal to 0, call it equation 2. Now, when you multiply these two equations, you need to get this equation. Therefore, ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to, while multiplying this one, there is a possibility of expecting a constant. So, introduce a constant also. This is lambda times first line is x sin theta minus y cos theta into x sin phi minus y cos phi. Now, this is lambda into, now you can check very clearly, multiply these two x square sin theta sin phi minus x y into x y term is x into y, y into x, sin theta cos phi plus cos theta sin phi plus y square into cos theta cos phi. Now, comparing these two, comparing the like terms, comparing the coefficients on both sides we will get here x square coefficient is a, a is equal to lambda times sin theta sin phi. So, a by lambda is equal to sin theta sin phi. In the same fashion, x y coefficient is 2 h is equal to lambda into, we know this formula, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is sin of a plus b. So, minus sin of 
theta plus phi. So you can write sin of theta plus phi is equal to minus 2h by lambda. Now one more cos b is equal to this is lambda times cos theta cos phi. b by lambda is equal to cos theta cos phi. Now we compared all the coefficients. Now we require equation of angular bisectors. Now if you take any point here p from this line and this line these two distances are equal. So equations of angular bisectors angular bisectors of lines let us give already we gave this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3. So lines 2 and 3 is you know the formula this is x sin theta minus y cos theta divided by square root of sin squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to plus or minus here it is x sin phi minus y cos phi divided by square root of sin squared phi plus cos squared phi. Now we know that sin squared plus cos squared theta or sin squared phi plus cos squared phi equal to 1. So this is x sin theta minus y cos theta is equal to plus or minus x sin phi minus y cos phi. So squaring on both sides we will get x sin theta minus y cos theta whole square is equal to x sin phi minus y cos phi whole square. Now bringing this term to this side this is x sin theta minus y cos theta whole square is equal to or minus x sin phi minus y cos phi whole square is equal to 0. Continuation. Here you can simplify this one. This is x square sin squared theta y square cos squared theta minus 2xy sin theta cos theta bracket minus it is x square sin squared phi plus y square cos square phi minus 2xy sin phi cos phi is equal to 0. Now you can see x square common in these two terms write down here x square into sin squared theta minus sin squared phi plus now y square term is here y square into cos squared theta minus cos squared phi. Now you observe here 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta. This is minus xy sin 2 theta and here also sin 2 phi is available. So plus xy into here you can write minus sin 2 theta then comes plus because minus into minus plus it is sin 2 phi is equal to 0. Now you can see very clearly x square into sin squared theta minus sin squared phi plus y square into now if you want you can change into sin square cos squared theta equal to 1 minus sin squared theta 1 minus sin squared theta minus 1 plus sin squared phi plus or you can take minus common xy into sin 2 theta minus sin 2 phi is equal to 0. Now you can check 1 gets cancelled here. Now here take minus common here. This is x square into sin squared theta minus sin squared phi minus y square into sin squared theta minus sin squared phi. Now minus xy into sin c minus sin d formula. From trigonometry you have sin c minus sin d equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2. This is 2 cos theta plus phi into sin 
theta minus phi is equal to 0. Now you can check very clearly. Sin square theta minus sin square phi is common in both these terms. So we can write sin square theta minus sin square phi into this is x square minus y square minus this is 2xy into cos theta plus phi into sin theta minus phi is equal to 0. Now sin square a minus sin square b formula sin a plus b into sin a minus b. So this is sin of theta plus phi into sin of theta minus phi into x square minus y square is equal to 2xy cos of theta plus phi into sin of theta minus phi. Now sin theta minus phi gets cancelled here. Now you can see very clearly. Continue. Continue. Now, here sin theta plus phi already we got the value. This is minus 2h by lambda minus 2h by lambda into x square minus y square 2xy into cos theta plus phi formula we know cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi. Now this is minus 2h by lambda into x square minus y square. Of course, if you want, you can cancel off these two here, leaving h is equal to xy into, now cos theta cos phi is b by lambda, b by lambda minus sin theta sin phi equal to a by lambda. So, you can write minus h by lambda into x square minus y square equal to, take minus common, xy by lambda into a minus b minus gets cancelled lambda gets cancelled leaving h into x square minus y square equal to x y into a minus b now this is the equation of pair of angular bisectors that is what need to be proved